Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition, which is also Anniversary Edition, on Expert Difficulty, <gasps> with Survival Mode turned on. And a lot of new things. We're gonna head right into Solitude. If you're liking this series, remember to hit the like button, leave a comment if you got one, subscribe, turn on the bell, all that stuff helps me out. Do you wanna see more videos? If you wanna see more videos, <gasps> that stuff really helps me to make more videos and keep doing this whole thing. So thank you. Uh, yeah, I like to see all the new little scenes, you know, every time you're introduced to a new city. So I know we've seen a lot of the, uh, seen a lot of this stuff before, but you know, I've also missed a lot of these little conversations and things. So bear with me. It's only at the beginning of the playthrough, you know? Is your Uncle Bob here? Tell them he didn't do it. Positions. As far as you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. Get Traitor. on with it! Gonna make a save real quick. You should tell her you betrayed us. Son that betrayed his high king. Best she know now, Athar. You're all heart, Vivian. Jeez! Rob there. You helped it. Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't Traitor. deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric story. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. Liar! He's a liar! I go to Solengard. Just realized YouTube. Is it YouTube grand? Yeah. So we're just gonna look this way for now and walk away with the rest of the people. Ugh, it's like every it's like every year that I do this job more and more. It's like there's just more inane insane things. I just heard a thing, and I was like, that can't be what I heard. There's just more insanely idiotic things added to the list of stuff that takes away from, you know, the joy of content creation. So, yeah. Unfor oh, hell yeah. That is very fortunate, though. Yeah, we need leeks. Perfect. Uh, what is this? Potato. We got enough of those. We need leeks, mainly. Anyways, yeah. Couldn't look at that scene just because of the last series I uploaded, Dwells in Shadow. Uh, literally just uploaded, you know, the intro to Skyrim we've all seen time and time again, and YouTube was like, nope! And so, yeah, sorry about that, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, here we go, we've got Eriker's house, it is an optional objective to search his house, but, uh, yeah, we wanna squeeze out every little bit of, you know, intrigue out of this new stuff for sure, obviously. Anything that spices Skyrim up after you played it for a long time. So this is the Grey Cowl of Nocturnal. Again, an Oblivion reference, pretty much. Uh, the Grey Cowl of Nocturnal plays a huge part in the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Uh, at least for the Thieves' Guild quest line. At the Riften Cemetery, I found a thief loitering near a tombstone. On his body was a note that mentioned the Grey Fox was dead, and his cowl was to be passed on to a new owner. I spoke to a beggar who handled me, handed me a note informing me of a job. I managed to find further instructions in a strong box at Boley's house. Yeah, so it sound, sounded like Nivenor, which is Boley's wife, was sleeping around in Riften. And through a strong box, we learned about that, but also that we have to go, you know, bamboozle somebody else, I guess, in the spirit of the Thieves Guild, at least for Oblivion in Cyrodiil. Uh, optional. Investigate Eriker's house. Steal the land deed from Gizli. So what is here in Eriker's house? I have no idea what we're supposed to be looking for. Anything in the knapsack, though. I'll eat that. I'll take that. Uh, I'll take that, but still we're getting pretty close here on carry weight. I would love to find a backpack. Why did we find... We found one right in uh, Bleak Falls Barrow, didn't we, last time? So... I don't know why it's taken us so long to find one this time around. Okay, looks like we gotta go upstairs, but I'm not really sure if anybody is... Co oh, well, yeah, somebody is definitely in this abode right now. Okay, I'm not sure who's detecting us, but maybe we'll be able to do this regard... Oh! Uh, oh! God, it's Gizli! Okay, I guess that's Eriker's wife? I'm not, not aware of the connection there. Okay, yeah, perfect. And an arcane enchanter is exactly what we need. Because we need to disenchant this, the Honed Ancient Nord Great Sword of Burning. Which I just want to make sure is not that one. There's a unique sword that's a lot like this, but it's not this one, right? No. So we'll disenchant that. Uh, and then what are we wearing at the moment? Yeah, we got to make some changes here, I think, actually. Items, apparel, and what do we have? 
The Amulet of Stendar. 15 speech crap. I wonder if that would be... Yeah, 10% more damage probably doesn't matter until we start putting some uh, damage or some block points. Some block perks into block. Let's put that on instead. Uh, we don't have this. Increase your magic by 40 points. Restoration spells cost 50% less to cast. Magic regenerates 75% faster. Oh, yeah. We should have switched to this a long time ago. Magic regenerates 50% faster. Uh, destruction spells cost 12% less to cast. Oh, my God. Yeah, what do we have on our head right now? Tell me we have something. I don't have anything on my head. No way. What? I literally took something off and literally... Oh, man. That was, that's really stupid. Uh, okay. So, if that's the case... Hmm, what should we disenchant it though? I kind of like having a circle it. That seems cool to me. Although it has no warmth rating. Uh, what about you? Wait, I definitely have something on my head. Am I stu- Oh, does the blue mage robes just combine both? I'm very confused. Like, this says hooded. And we've got a novice hood as well. Okay, uh, I'm super confused here. Let's get rid of the novice hood first of all. Novice hood, which then will black out some of the stuff here. Novice robes of conjuration we also want. Uh, let's see. 50% faster. This one's 75. Okay, so yeah, we disenchant this, and then we wear this since it's higher magic. And if we get another one of these, we will wear, uh, we'll disenchant this and switch to that. And we've got the Circle of Biter Destruction, which I would like to have, but if I disenchant this, we can wear this instead. So yeah, let's disenchant that. Okay, and we'll keep this for now, although we can switch back to that, or we can switch back to that. Okay, so yeah, we'll disenchant this also. Okay, that was a little confusing. But now we go to items apparel, then we should be able to put on... Let's see here. I know we had a ring that was enchanted with something that we want as well. This increases your magic by 20 points flat. Boom. Hooded black mage robes? Yes. Hide shield? Yes. Gold ring? No. No. Uh, yes. Yes. No. Uh, this? No. This? Yes. Why is it saying... I'm so confused. Why is it saying that my warmth rating is going down when I'm wearing something? The blue mage robes must just combine? Oh, yeah, I guess this just has more than both this and the other thing combined? Because War warmth is 18, warmth is 15. Yeah, I guess it's that. Okay, hopefully that doesn't come to bite us in the butt. But I didn't realize we didn't have a lot of that stuff. Uh, now, where is this other? Oh, it's up one more floor. I don't know why Gizli is not angry at me, by the way. I guess we just roam around their house. Also, it looks like I'm... What? What is happening? Oh, you can only wear one or the other. I guess that's what that is. Okay, crap. So I should... Okay, yeah, I got really confused there. Anyways, let's head up one floor and then go see what this thing is. Also, yeah, my movement is, like, glitched right now. It, it almost seems like I'm in sneak, but it won't let me move at a normal pace. Letter to Gizli. Okay, what's going on here? Construction on the port east of Jahana has been approved and will begin once the transfer of land is official. The boy's consent should be suffice as the head of Ice Blade, the head of the Ice Blade clan has long been absent and the mother has taken ill per your brother's... What? Construction on the port east of Yahana has been approved and will begin once the transfer of land is official. The boy's consent should suffice as the head of the Ice Blade clan has long been absent and the mother has taken ill per your brother's instruction. The deed is enclosed with this letter, sending the boy to Riften before he's old enough to grasp what happened is a good idea. Not the orphanage, though. It's best he lives in comfort lest he suspects our motives. Still, it's a dangerous gambit made more complicated should nightfall, should the n rightful heir return. Your brother would kill me for saying this, but if you have the chance, it may be worth selling the venture for the right price. This has been more trouble than it's worth. M. What the hell is happening here? I'm very confused. There's a lot of moving parts with this one. Okay, let's take that, and then who do we have here? There's Erikur. I think this is the guy that we see in a certain main quest, if I remember correctly. Also, can we pickpocket some... Oh, we sure can. <gasps> Luck be with me. Yay! Thank you so much, and that's a new level up as well. Rawr! Okay, we're gonna clean this guy out. Yeah, any chance to get some pickpocketing, I'd really like it. Including this gold. Yoink! Thank you. Although the gold doesn't seem to level up your pickpocket nearly as much. Key? Oh, hell yeah! 23% chance. We can do it, though, I believe. Within three tries. Watch. Combine that 69%, we can do it. That's the sex number. It has to happen. Oh, no, YouTube! I said sex! Oh, are they gonna send people to my house now and break my legs? What? Okay, one more watch. It's gonna happen, I believe. Do you believe? Everybody in the comment section below, or everybody watching this video has to believe at this very moment. You're not getting- Okay, nobody believe. nobody believed. All right, I told you guys to believe and nobody believed. And now look, now we don't have anything. Okay, one more try, come on. I'm lucky. Yeah, 
Jesus, God, that's so satisfying when that actually triggers. This guy's got so much stuff to steal. Oh, my God. 50% chance increases your stamina by 20 points. Yeah. Look at that. And then one more little ring. Okay. Where's our carry weight? Okay, we're doing well. We're doing well. Silver Garnet ring. Yoink. Man, look at that look. Heck yeah. Okay. Uh, now, I think I see something I want here. Glow dust. Yeah. And then potion of haggling. Yeah. And then slaughterfish scales. Yeah. And some death bell. Yeah. Was that frostbite? Why do you have all these poisons here? I wonder if that... Yeah, I wonder if that's actually important on any level. Okay, what's this? Shazar and the Divines. Why does that feel like a new book? I don't actually know if it is or not. Okay, what do we have to do now? Optional... Persuade or purchase the deed from Geasley. Steal the land deed from Geasley. Okay, so we can optionally persuade her, which we will do if we can intimidate. I also want that health potion. Thank you. Uh, how the heck do I navigate your weird house? Where is the staircase? Also, we need to look for a uh, cooking pot as well. Uh, let's save here. Hello. Welcome to the center of the world. Or at least my brother Eriker's world. So, Erica is your brother? Yes, my older brother. And the person you probably want to be speaking to right now. But really, since Torig's death, Falk Firebeard wields the true power of the Jarl's court. My brother is nothing more than a pompous little fop. That doesn't seem like a good attitude. Oh, if you're looking for a good attitude, go see the bards. They'll fake it for you, if nothing else. If you're looking for truth instead, see Noster. He's a good example of what life has to offer. And if you're just looking to feel good, go get some spiced wine from Yvette. But whatever you do, just leave me alone. I don't know any of these people. It goes to show how little I've explored Skyrim outside of the main quests uh, and, you know, progression in general. I know what your people did to did in Yohana. It would seem so. Okay, so here, yeah, anytime, like, it, they're like, it would seem so. It's obviously, like, you know, modded dialogue. They reused voice lines, uh, which is, you know, understandable, but I'm just pointing that out. The deed's not worth the trouble. I'll dispose of it for you. 8,000? I don't have the... No way. Oh, no, that sucks. The deed's not worth the trouble. I'll dispose of it for you. Nah, I don't think so. Dang, what was the speechcraft thing? It was, like, speechcraft... Uh, what didn't did we we didn't have like an actual thing with that effect, right? Speechcraft is X amount high. Did we did we literally just disenchant that? I think we did. That sucks because that might have gotten us past that. Wait. Oh, and, oh, we have it on. Okay, that's just a really really difficult. All right, so then we're gonna have to steal it. Uh, let's make a new save here. Hopefully she has it on her person. And I think if we're hidden, it obviously has a much higher chance of actually taking it. Oh, 79% chance. Easy. Let's clear her out as well. Yoink. <laughs> and yoink. Okay, listen. Don't turn around and look at me. No, no, no. I don't know when we'll start to switch to actually trying to pickpocket legitimately. Because it is kind of lame saves coming. But I don't know. I don't want to sit here and, like, you know, press A on the same thing 400,000 times. You know what I mean? Yoink. There we go. Yeah, that doesn't really increase your pickpocketing at all, does it? No, 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 don't be sitting down. I hope you're not planning on picking my pocket. Who, me? No, not at all. Uh, key, ring of minor. Yeah, we need that as well. Yoink! Okay, listen, just work with me here. I'm trying to do a pickpocket playthrough. Do you know how much this detracts from how much time we spend on other things? Just work with me, all right? How about you I give me that ring? I hope you're not planning on picking my pocket. Me? No, like I said, no, not at all. 40% chance, though. Yeah, okay. I, yeah, like I said, I cannot complain. We're getting some gosh darn good luck. Silver necklace, 76%. Ho, ho, ho. Look at this pickpocket's just flying. And then land, title, and deed. Beautiful. Place the forge deed on the dress. Yeah, I'm very confused with what's going on here. I don't know what Yahana is, and I don't know who they're talking about either. So if anybody knows what's happening here and uh, can tell me, can inform me, feel free. I would love to actually figure out what this story's trying to tell me. Clearly, there's something... Ha like, they planted somebody in Riften that actually was a part of the Iceborne clan, but they p made him in... They made him, like, have some level of power so he wouldn't be in the in the orphanage. A little confused. Okay, place deed dresser. Check the barrel for further instructions. Yeah, for anybody watching that doesn't know what's happening, basically, this is added content with Skyrim Anniversary Edition. Uh, and I'm not sure how deep it goes or what. I, I have played Saints and Seducers, which was actually pretty damn involved. Like, it was like its own full thing, from what I remember. 
Um, but yeah, I have no idea how beefy the other quests are. Why is it telling me to go in here? I think Can the I waypoint's you? kind of messed up, isn't it? Also, who are you? Sibyl Stentor has a grasp of magical theory that I would never have expected from a human, even a Breton. Who the hell are you? No doubt most folk in Skyrim consider the dragons terrifying. I find them wondrous. I guess he's the court wizard of solitude, but I always think it's that other person. Okay, let's use the cookie pot. We should be able to make one of the best foods in the entire game. If I'm correct here, grilled leeks we do not want to do. In fact, I should have saved my leeks. Yeah, if you have a cabbage, potato, leek, and tomato, or is that with a cabbage, potato, leek, tomato, um, you can make veggie soup, which is known as being super overpowered in Skyrim because it basically offers you infinite stamina, so infinite power attacks, because all you need is one stamina to use a power attack. Restore one point of health per second for 720 seconds. Restore one point of stamina per second for 720 seconds. Restore 380 points of hunger. Bam, 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 bam. I was hoping that would consolidate our carry weight, but I guess not. You lack the required, but yeah, I'm aware. We need leaks so and we need the other thing. Also, I'm gonna take that health potion up there if you don't mind. Uh, okay, never mind. It's just a potion of regeneration. How do I get... You are tired. You're tired. You are free to leave. Yeah, I'm trying. Um, your, your house is like a labyrinth. I don't know why it's forcing me to leave this way. Probably because it's closer to the barrel, I guess. Okay, behind the winking skeever, which is here in solitude, right? Again, one thing that I'm going to be majorly, like, non-knowledgeable about at all is just all the areas you never have to go to for the main quest, you know, for all the quests, for the guilds, for the main quest, and for all the side quests. Like, if you don't have to go there, chances are I probably, like, don't remember it just because I'm very objective basis. I've said a lot. Because people are always like, wow, Jeeva doesn't know that guy? Yeah, it's because I probably never had to talk to him, you know? But that's why I look for opportunities to do it. It doesn't matter how many times you ask. much to ask. Okay, this is the winking skeever here. Man, you really feel that stamina if you're not if you're not full. So let's eat that. Let's eat that. Let's eat. Uh, let's see. Yeah, veggie soup there. We'll eat that. And we'll eat all these potatoes and we'll keep 10. I'll make the stuff in like bouts of 10 pretty much. Okay, how much did that? Re yeah, we're still not full up on our hunger. Jeez. Okay, where is this barrel at? Hi. Bye. Honeyed words. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, because I have the thing of Debella? Okay, I'm not going to take offense to that. Look at this. Yeah, perfect. Little hidden barrel. I wonder if this was here before the anniversary edition stuff. Stranger's final instructions. Okay, looks like we're almost done here. I'm not going to read this white text. I'm looking over to my right. Not reading it. Uh-uh. Waiting for it to go. Nope, not reading it. Nope, will not read it. You're good. You picked a pockets clean and made the switch. Now you'll need to put those skills to the test and more. In Silverdrift Lair is a tomb that houses an ancient Nord clan. Near a large chest is a corpse with a lantern, and its candle still burning. It holds a key. When you have the key, open the chest and you'll find a sword that can raise the dead. When you find it, bring it to the grave of the Grey Fox in Riften. It's a small and mocked headstone on the east side of the cemetery. Complete the task and maybe you'll even get to meet him. A stranger. Well, really? Get to meet him? Okay. I am down for that. I think we got some optional objectives there too, right? Find the key on the corpse with the lantern. Obtain the ancestral sword. Man, okay. Uh, before we do that, I think we really want a horse, though. And I'm honestly very worried that the horse will die at some point. Because, yeah, I'm realizing now just how helpful a horse is going to be. So, uh, let's go back. Wait, can you not use a carriage in solitude? Of course you could, right? But where is it? Oh, yeah, I see the, the, the hoof icon was combined with the little mill icon or whatever. Let's see what name this guy has. I don't know who this one is. Oh, hi. There you are. You are Thayer. Need a ride? What do you know about Solitude? Solitude's been the capital of Skyrim as long as I can remember. Most of the high kings of Skyrim were Jarls of Solitude first. Well, let's see what else. Uh, the Bard's College is here and the main office of the East Empire Company. If you need it, you can get a room for a fair price at the Winking Skeever just inside the main gate. <laughs> See ya. 
Bye. Okay, actually, I want to see where this is. I don't like this dungeon at all. But I want to see where it is. Silverdrift Lair is there, and we are way over there. Okay, yeah, so let's go grab ourselves a horse first. We'll take care of that, and then we'll take care of that later, and then we'll do this one here. Louis Latrush wants me to ask Sibby Blackbriar about Frost. A breeding horse Latrush is buying. Speak to Sibby Blackbriar, who's way back in the jail cell in Riften. So unfortunately, we're going to take a big hit here to sleep and to hunger, but oh well. Capitals. I'd like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? I'd like to go to Rift. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Can do. Yeah, and apparently if we build a hearth fire home, we'll be able to travel to a lot more places. But so far, the carriage is getting us exactly where we need to go. It takes a little bit extra time from just instantly fast traveling, of course. But, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. It's mainly just the... It's mainly just the, 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 the hunger and the tiredness that's going to really suck. We're going to have to, like, get a system going. Cabbage and salt seems to be the best way for sure. Because the veggie soup takes, obviously, four different ingredients, but also is very, very, very helpful. Uh, and I guess we just should flat out not eat until you after we've traveled. That's seven. another thing that I can do as well. Really oh, yeah. And there should be, ooh, there should be a produce seller around here, shouldn't there be? Uh, hi. No, you're a beggar. Hi, you're a jeweler. Of course, whoever sells produce here, if there is one, is probably not on the job at the moment. Okay, I think we can enter the jail cell from over here. I'm wrong. Broken Helm Hollow, eh? Mist Vale, keep discovered. And down here, we have the Rift in Jail. Yeah, I'll try to save all the food stuffs for, like, when we're going to use the carriage specifically. Okay, what do we have here? Dance and Fire, which reminds me of A Song of Ice and Fire and Dance of Dragons. Hey, you're not supposed to be down here. Official business only. I hear that, but I also have a speechcraft amulet, so it's fine. I'm allowed to be here. Oh, my mistake then. Sorry, you can go on ahead. <laughs> That's what I thought. Okay, so Sibby Blackbriar's locked up somewhere over here on the left side. Oh, was that grilled leeks or just... Ooh, yeah, anytime we can steal some free food, we definitely need to do that, too. Who the heck is looking at me? Let's... Come on, be honest. Who? There's literally nobody in here. I, I need those. I'm so hungry. I'm hungry in real life, too. I've got, like, very little calories left for today. Man, I'm so hungry. Come on, man. What's the magic spot? There? How about here? How about, like, right over here? Okay, you know what? I give up. Hello. Have you come to gawk at me, or is this a social call? Why are you in jail? Look... We all have our flaws. Mine is that women can't get enough of me. So I had this little affair going on while I was betrothed to a beautiful girl named Spiddy. Well, she finds out and she tells her brother Wolfer that her brother attacks me with a knife. I, I mean, I had to defend myself. So you got arrested for his murder? Exactly. Now I have to stare at these bars for eight months. Can you believe it? I was about to let that wench marry into the richest family in Rifton, and this is how she repays me. I'd do anything to have that whore's head on a platter. All I need to know is where she is. What a wonderful man. I'll help you find her. Ah, that's the spirit. Find her, and I promise you'll be well compensated. I like the sound of that. Discover Svitty's whereabouts. Oh, yeah, I forgot you can actually... That's, there's like a second thing you get from this. Do you have any information on Svitty? She was a young woman. Buxom, with long, flowing black hair. She used to sing the most lovely songs to me when we were courting. Never heard a voice so beautiful. All that talent will go to waste when I'm finished with her. Okay, I want to see just how evil this little quest can go. You're serving only eight months for murder. Yeah, mother thought I should be taught a lesson for airing the family's dirty laundry in public. I mean, I've taken care of many people for her in the past. What in oblivion did she expect me to do? Ah, well, at least I have all the comforts of home during my stay. Well, except the touch of a woman, of course. Tell me about your family. When speaking of the Blackbriars, only one thought should spring to mind. We are not to be trifled with. Help us, you end up rich. Cross us, and you'll end up a memory. 
Is that enough information for you? Almost. I was sent by Lewis Latrush. Ah, and let me guess. He wants his horse. Well, that's going to be a bit of a problem. See, I don't really outright own Frost. You don't own the horse you already sold to Latrush? That is correct. You see, Frost belongs to the Blackbriar estate. Technically, everything in the estate is owned by my mother, Maven. My plan was to take the horse from our lodge and deliver it to Latrush at the stables. Obviously, that didn't exactly work out as I'd planned. Still, I don't want to cross Latrush. Tell you what, steal the horse and deliver it, and you can have the second half of the payment. Or something else, surely. You know, I bet Maven would pay me even more for this info. Sure, take advantage of the guy in jail. Okay, fine, I can make the deal sweeter. I obviously don't have anything here, but there's a hidden stash in the lodge. And I did manage to hold on to the key. Take it. Oh, thank you so much. Well, if it isn't my little problem solver. If Maven already threw you in jail, why steal her horse? I'm not stealing anything. Besides, some jail time isn't going to make me roll over and play dead. Okay, bye! When I find that bitch, I'm going to wring her little neck. Oh my god, did we just become best friends? <gasps> okay, we need to sleep and we need to eat. And I need to eat those ten grilled leeks, but they won't let me... Who is looking at me, man? It can't be the guard, right? Is there literally... Oh, who is this, I wonder? I don't think I've ever talked to this person. Hopefully she's not just named, like, Prisoner. Okay, come on, you won't tell anybody, right? How about if I give you half? Okay, I guess we'll just leave. Oh, yeah, no, I was just leaving. Okay, so now, uh, yeah, we're running... We're, 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 we're dwindling on foodstuffs, but... I guess, yeah, we should be really smart then. We should wait until, what time is it? 9.50, oh, perfect. Okay, we're waiting, we're gonna wait a couple of hours here and then hopefully buy some produce. Oh no, I'm thinking of a different, oh yeah, I'm thinking of Markarth, the meat stand. Yeah, whenever we go back to Markarth, I have to remember we have to actually buy some food. Is there anybody here that sells food though? Never seen me old, this upset about anything. Half the stalls are not even filled and she looks like she's like an armor seller. Okay, so what must we do now? Steal Frost's lineage papers. Yeah, I, if I remember correctly... Hmm, okay. Yeah, uh, let's see. Before we head out of here... Last time we went to the... Oh yeah, we might be able to get some food at the tavern. Okay, let's check the Bee and Barb once more. And see what they have on the menu. Uh, where is Talon J? Welcome to the Bee and Barb, my lord. Aha! I interest you in one of our special... Is there something I can do for you? What's on the menu? Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both? I am very hungry, and I wonder if he's actually got those things he was talking about, those three special brews. Oh, he does! Cliff Racer, restore 10 stamina, restore 2 points of hunger. Velvet Lachance, restore 10 stamina, restore 2 points of hunger. And then White Gold Tower, restore 10 stamina, 2 points of hunger. He's got Venison Chop, which is value of 14. We've got almost 4k gold, restores 400 health. Yes, please. I will buy that, and not much else, unfortunately. Okay, thank you very much. If you'll excuse me. I if have you've other got the to coin, to. you're welcome here. Otherwise, hit the road. What have you got for sale? Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Are you sure? Because your husband did not have all that much. Argonian blood wine. What the heck is this? Was this 40% of poison for 50 seconds? Can breathe under water for 50 seconds. Stamina regenerates 30% slower for 30 seconds. Restore two points of hunger. I wonder if that's new or not. Black briar mead, carrot, cooked beef. Yes, please. Cooked brook bass. Yes. Cooked catfish. Yes. Okay, yeah, they've got a lot of stuff that we can really utilize here. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, and I would require a bed. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you very much. Come back and see us again. Oh, I will. What is it with you and all these questions? Very well. Ask away. Brynjolf, I am walking up to you. Nobody's asking your questions. Lies Where the, the heck Empire, is that bed at? Much to discuss. Uh huh. I don't have any business with you, so get out of my face. Yes, thank you very much, mean NPCs. Yeah, I'm aware. I, I'm, I'm, I'm minding my own business, though. I'm just trying to find my bed. Here we go. Okay, it's 12.23 p.m., so if we wait 24 hours, we'll be uh, pretty much at the time that I want to be adventuring. But let's see. Uh, yeah, we don't have to do that much, actually. We can adventure at night. Yeah, I keep thinking we want to adventure... I keep thinking we want to adventure, um, when, like, right early in the morning. But that's just because that's how... 
That's the that's that's when Skyrim looks the most pretty when it's got that like kind of golden glow to it. Okay, yeah, like I said, this is gonna be really annoying how it doesn't tell you your base magicka and stamina. I think we go stamina this time, because we are gonna need a little bit of that as well, especially for traipsing all around Skyrim. Now, what do we want to be improving here? Still don't have that much destruction. Destruction's gonna take forever to level up. How about restoration, which will help us out quite a lot on expert. Dual casting a restoration spell overcharges the effects into an even more powerful version. We'll go with that, and then healing spells cure 50% more. Yeah, we'll get our healing right... We'll get our healing out of the way right off the bat. Because we do that pretty much for the entire playthrough. Hi! Man, Talon J is just on me like white on rice. I'm just trying to have fun, jeez. Okay, let's eat some food as well. Uh, let's see. What should, how should we do this, I wonder? It's 10 points of health, 8 points of stamina. So that could be used for healing. I guess anything could be used for healing. Okay, we'll eat that and that, and then how much does that put us at? Okay, and then one more. So pretty much like 4, 8, 1,200 is the maximum, I guess, for hunger, pretty much. Okay, there we go. Perfect. All right, now, why is it telling me to go that way? Optional, steal the lodge stash, steal frost lineage papers. Yeah, but why is it... Don't we have to leave for that? Yeah, it's way over there. That's what I thought. Isn't this the exit outside of Riften? Okay, that was bizarre. Okay, and we are out of here once again with a full stamina bar, a full health bar, and a full mana bar. We still haven't done the intro to the uh, game, really, but that's kind of good. I, I was planning on doing that entire intro to the, um, to the, uh, you know, to the gameplay with the whole, the whole, I don't want to spoil it, but the, the whole beginning that we did with Dwells in Shadow, but honestly, it's really good that we're doing something entirely different, mainly because, again, my playstyle has to be entirely shifted. Uh, from being, uh, you know, just doing whatever I want to do to actually being efficient here. I have a big cough in my throat. <coughs> I said cough! And then, yeah, uh, the Blackbriar, uh, estate is over here tucked away at the very eastern side of Skyrim. Man, my stamina still feels like... Do we still have that food poisoning? No way. Has it not been three days yet? Let's see here. Cold warm, what's that doing? Cold warm. Picking locks and picking pockets is 10% easier. You're 10% more resistant to frost. Fatigue, refreshed. You feel refreshed. Hunger, satisfied. You're not hungry. Fort okay, so this is just our status for those three status things. Uh, let's see. Regenerate magicka, resist fatigue. Dunmer blood. What? Your Dunmer blood gives you 25% resistance to fatigue. Excuse me. I, I feel like we read that at the start, but I completely forgot about it. Yeah, it feels like my stamina is regenerating extremely slowly, but that's probably just like a placebo effect sort of thing. Okay, we're going to walk up to the Blackbriar Estate, hopefully get ourselves a horse very soon, and we're going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed the series, please remember like the video, leave in comments, and subscribe. It all helps me out and helps me to continue doing this. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Mass thanks to my patrons as well. Bye-bye! Hey, it's me, GV. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more of me, I'm live on Twitch pretty much every day. The link is in the description. If you'd like to support me and go the extra mile, consider becoming a patron. The link is in the description. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.